you doing? Today I want to build a post-apocalyptic quiver and this here is my old quiver which I really love however this quiver is making a lot of sound and that's because the arrows can touch each other so today I thought that I want to make a quiver out of pipes stay tuned alright folks so these are the materials that I have I have these kind of pipes they have 32 millimeters in diameter and they are really robust and also um, yeah I wanted to have rather thick pipes because then it's easier to insert an arrow into these pipes so uh, you can take some pipes which are not that thick like this one here has 20 millimeters but you're going to have a hard time finding into the hole and yeah that's just gonna be annoying and this is why I have chosen to go with these thick pipes so yeah if you only put one arrow into the pipe it will be rather silent but of course you can put more arrows into one pipe as well so you don't only have to go with three arrows now the next thing is that these pipes they are a little bit bigger at the top and they have this rubber seal at the inside which is great because then the arrow doesn't make so much sound when touching the rubber seal so when you are pulling this out it will be rather silent uh, of course you can improve this by adding one more rubber seal or even fur into the pipe here so that's great and I want to uh, have this part at the top and at the bottom I figured that I can use these bottles here I have a couple of these and these actually fit the pipe almost perfectly it's fitting rather snug so I want to cut off the bottles here and then I can even open up the pipes at the bottom with the screw cap here and clean them out if they get wet or dirty which is a great thing so this is my plan so first I want to cut off a couple of these bottles here and close the bottom and then we will find a technique to join these three pipes together hey Amy how are you? did you just fart? <laughs> comes into my tool shop and farts okay let's go Okay, now I have my three screw threads, but I have to clean them off a little bit using this machine. fitting perfectly unbelievable this fits so well you almost don't need a glue but to be sure I'm going to glue this thread on now yeah I just want to make sure that I'm not losing this and my arrows with it now which glue to use um, I think maybe epoxy is a little bit of an overkill so I'm going to use this one Uhu Kraft which means force Okay, so my three pipes are ready now and I believe that this solution is great 
and every time this gets dirty I can clean it out by taking off the cap so awesome next I want to find a way to connect these pipes somehow and yeah I'm not quite sure how to do it so let's see what's in my drawer okay ah I have this here this is great I believe it's called a clamp band and I can use this to somehow hold together my quiver okay let's check out what I need for this I need a couple of screws and bolts um, yeah that's what I need yeah recently I bought a couple of these organizers and they are so great I have so much more space inside of my drawer now and I can see everything right at the first you know glance which is great so yeah I can highly recommend this system okay um, but I'm going to need some kind of rubber material because this is really making some noise if this touches the pipe hmm hold on ah uh, yeah here I have a bike tube let's see if I can use this so I'm going to cut these in stripes and then I'm going to put this over the pipe and then I'm going to clamp down the pipe with this clamp band Okay, now I want to insert the next pipe. Oh my god. Okay, I have encountered a small problem. So, this here is a little bit too loose. So I need a little bit more rubber in between the clamp thingy and the pipe. Let's see. Mm, this looks great.
Alright, so now it's time to paint this because I do not want to leave it this way. Nice. I like it. I like. I think this really looks awesome. Very unique. Okay, the air is making a little bit of sound when it's hitting the bottom here. So I want to silence the bottom caps. And I have this cap here, which I want to stick uh, inside of the cap. And then the error should make less noise. So now it's time to put a strap onto my quiver and for this I'm using two of these very short straps. A 
Okay, this here is making a little bit of a sound. So, yeah, maybe I come up with a solution. So now this doesn't rattle so much anymore. Alright, so this attachment point is too low and I want to move it higher up to here. But then I also need some kind of, you know, ring or something which is blocking this from moving up all the way. So this is what I'm going to use. So this here is just to block the thread from going above this line. I think it looks cool. Okay, in this box I want to fit my archery repair kit. So I need a couple of these hex keys for my bow. And for this kit I also want to add an extra bowstring, beeswax and a little bit of this very strong thread. It's always great if you have these things with you in case that your string breaks or in case that you have to maintain your stuff. So this is going in here and also I'm going to use this lighter a lot when, you know, repairing arrows. So a lighter is something that you want to have with you and this is going into this kit. And then also important is a small camping knife and with this you can cut off string and do, you know, easy camping chores if you go camping. So. A small knife like this is always great to have. And with the rubber foam at the inside, it's not going to rattle. So the only thing that you hear is the strap right now. That's pretty cool. All right, so I have just attached another bag to the strap and in this bag I want to fit my binoculars, my laser range finder and I want to fit my protective gear for bow and arrow shooting. So this is for the fingers and this is for the arm.
this was the last one there was already very tired and without this one the grouping is fine 20 meters all right guys so this is it this is my new post apocalyptic quiver i really love it so if you want to see more archery videos make sure that you subscribe to my channel stay tuned till next time